Alright YouTube, this is another garden update. Um, one thing that we had to do, we had this galvanized fencing and we had to add the chicken wire because when I started to do weed whacking around the perimeter, not only did it really screw up the weed whacker uh, trimming cord, but I screwed up and kind of broke some of the, or bent some of this uh, wire and we had some rabbits getting in. So we put chicken wire all the way around uh, the perimeter of the garden. And that's three foot high and you can see there's a little space. I know it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, there's a, that's three foot and then the fence is four foot tall. All right, since my wife is out here in the garden and I'm really uneducated with this still, I'm gonna let her go through and talk about what's in each box. And what we've harvested so far, we've gotten quite a few things. All right, here's a, just a quick shot of the six boxes that we have. There's box number one, box number two, box number three, box number four, I know is all strawberries, box number five, and box number six. So it's been a while guys since I've posted a video about the garden. So let's talk about box number one. What are we looking at here? Green beans. Where are they? Right here? Mm -hmm. Green beans? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lettuce. Romaine lettuce. Okay. Kale. Kale. The kale went crazy. We've had the kale We've, we've picked a lot of this kale so far. Pick it every day. Yeah, like every day we pick it. Okay, what's next? These are peppers. Okay. Peppers. That's, there's an empty spot still for another pepper plant. Yep. Then that's celery. Celery. And then four tomato plants. Four tomato plants that are working their way up. All right, let's go to box number two. Box number two. This stuff here is what? Purple cabbage. Purple cabbage. And behind it? Broccoli. You can see the heads growing. Oh yeah. Okay. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts in the back. Okay. Behind that is another tomato plant. Oh, back here in the corner? That's going to grow up to here. Okay. And I have peas here that are going to come out soon. Okay. Then four cucumbers. Okay. And that right there is a, is a vine squash. Mmm, vine squash. All right. All right, that's box number two. Box number three. Okay, I know these are onions right here that we're looking at. In front of them is cauliflower. This is cauliflower. That we grew from seed, so it's behind the... Oh, yeah, we did, yeah, okay. We grew that from seed. And then what's behind the onion? More Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, okay. And then peas. Peas, okay. And peas have to get pulled out by by the end of June. Okay. Mid June. Okay. Behind the peas that's gonna go in their place is butternut squash. Okay. And spaghetti squash that are gonna grow up on the shelf. Okay. I know this box is strawberries. This is the one my two year old son wants to get in and pick at every day. So we let him get in here and pick the red ones when they when we find them. So we've been picking these daily too. And uh, just kind of waiting for them to uh, get ready. So yeah, we've been. Uh, These might might make strawberries all summer long. Okay. And you can see right here. This is from this plant. It has legs. It has sprouted a leg and now laid another plant here. Yeah. Cool. So by next year we should have a lot more strawberry plants. This will eventually become just. You won't see any dirt. Gotcha. Brussels sprouts. And you got Brussels sprouts everywhere. So what's in front of this? That is a yellow crookneck squash. Okay. Um, and then the rest of these need to be transplanted. They're here right now, getting bigger while we have space. Okay. These are two cantaloupe plants. Okay. They'll stay there and they'll run out this way. Okay. This is. Um, some kind of a squash zucchini plant. I don't remember what. Okay. We'll find out. We'll find out. Those are 
um, yellow tomato plants for the little ones from seed. Okay. And then next to that is a banana pepper plant and a giant yellow pepper plant. Okay. Next to that is beans. Oh, these are beans here? Mm-hmm. Okay. And next to that from seed is um, ornamental gourds that will be transplanted. They're the little gourds that you like put on your table for Thanksgiving, right? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, box number six is more kale in the back, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And, um, What's this? Boston bib lettuce. This is lettuce here? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's this guy? That is a zucchini. Okay. And then to the right of that are three watermelon plants that will get transplanted. Okay. Here's more beans. Beans. That's spaghetti squash that will get transplanted. Okay. Those are the gourds that you make birdhouses out of. Those will get transplanted. Oh, the big gourds, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that's a uh, cantaloupe. Cool. So that's the last box, but we also have taters. Potatoes growing in a trash can right here. And uh, they're doing pretty well. Um, and we I, also have a and a squash outside of the garden. Oh, we do? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So this is potatoes in the trash can. Um, and uh, I don't know how long, what do you do with this, Lou? Um, once the plants die, yeah. the plants on top start to die, then we dump it over and harvest. We should probably get about 50 pounds of potatoes out of that. Okay. Well, once they die, you know that they're ready to go then. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So that's the garden update. I hope you guys made it through the video. Yeah, and uh, marigolds to keep the beetles out. Marigolds to keep the beetles out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we planted marigolds on the front here and we made boxes here and this is actually <clears throat> so on the front part of the garden we have boxes this is also to kind of try to keep the rabbits out as well we didn't put the uh, chicken wire up on the front of the garden here because with the gate we did do the gate and then more marigolds these were all planted by um, from seed <clears throat> so I guess these help with beetles Japanese beetles, hon. Go Ravens. Um, the pumpkins out there and the marigolds out there. All right, and then there's the gazebo. What do you have on the left, Lou? On the left is marigolds. That's more marigolds. With mosquitoes for people that are sitting there. Okay, and then what's on the right one? Marigolds and um, giant jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Giant jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah, so I just cut the grass today and I have not uh, done any trimming, so that's why those uh, look like crap, guys, because I have been lazy and didn't trim today. Uh, but I did get the grass cut. That's step one. All right, I think that's all the plants we have um, that are around. I mean, not, you know, talking about stuff, There's this stuff here. Uh, I don't know what else we have. All right, this video is long enough, guys. There's a rain barrel. All right, take care. Mm -hmm.